All right, guys, welcome back to Devil May Cry. The last time we met in Devil May Cry, um, we just made it to this ghost ship thing. Now, God, I fucking hate this mission because of the underwater controls. So, firstly, you can't use your weapons unless you get the underwater gun. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get that for a little bit. So, you're basically left defenseless when you're swimming. Um, I hate the swimming controls because they are very stiff and awkward. You go into first person mode the moment you go um, into underwater. Um, luckily, your health doesn't drain like it did earlier when we went under the bridge. I don't know why. I'm not going to complain about that. So, yeah. Um, it's not so bad swimming itself, but it's defending yourself while swimming. Because you can only use that needle gun and it goes in a straight line similar to the grenade launcher. And the enemies have better swimming controls than you. And you know how I feel. And everyone knows how they feel about enemies that have better control than you do. It's stupid. Um, so what we have to do is we have to go into that ship and do a few things. Um, I, um, I know we have an encounter with Griffin in the ship. Um, and there is a secret mission in the next... In the, in the next couple of missions. In fact, this part's going to be a long one because I'm I take my time during this part. Uh, and plus swimming controls are just awkward as shit. Luckily, this is really the only section you have to deal with it. Um, once you get past the section, you never have to touch swimming controls again, which really make me question why they had them in the first place. And once you um come out of a body of water Dante just jumps out um, and goes to the nearest ledge so yeah uh, now this mission I think is pretty standard stuff you don't really have to do anything too crazy um, like I think you just really have to get through the you just have to get to a door uh, defeat Griffin and that's it well defeat Griffin basically just hold him off for a little bit Now here's where we get the needle gun. So it's not too late after you start swimming, but still it's kind of a stupid time. Why am I just attacking random objects? Yep, alright, here's the door. So, first things first is I actually do look for um, a blue orb fragment, which actually honestly confused the fuck out of me in terms of the guide. Because the guide said the foremast, and I have no idea what the fuck a foremast is, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, so I thought it was, oh, it's the, it's the back it's the back one. Uh, no, that's the it's the front one. Okay, I don't know boat terminology, okay? Don't judge me. I don't know boats. Or ships. Shut up! <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to remember how to sting her, even though it's pretty easy to do. Nope. I think I'm confused here. I, sh I honestly should have cut this out, but I just wanted to look like an idiot for a little bit. Nope. You're on the wrong mast, dumbass. I think it's also because I don't realize there are multiple masts on the ship. So I'm assuming that this is what they're talking about. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> You see, people, this is why you make your guides clear. <laughs> now, here's where I realize, oh, there are multiple masks, so I start walking towards it. I think there's three. So I'm still at the, I think I'm still at the wrong one. Or is it just the two?
Yeah, there's three. Yeah, you. I believe you do have to stinger um, off the mask. So that's how you get that last one. I think this is me processing the fact that I got it. That that's that's what they meant. Yeah, sometimes I do that, where um, where when I don't understand the guy for a second, and then I get it all of a sudden. I'm just like, what the fuck did I just do? Like I usually stand there for a second, just to like give myself a second and go, what the fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, just look at the door, please. Okay, so first up, we got we gotta kill this enemy. Saint Elmo? That's his name? Oh my god. Elmo from Sesame Street? Actually, Air Raid is really good for um, distance foes like that because of the lightning bolt attack that I just did. There you go. Now that is that taken care of, but we still have an encounter with Griffin. Like right here. Way hey, up. Okay. That's not until Assassin's Creed 4. And we're not doing that until I do Brotherhood, Revelations 3, <laughs> then 4. Oh, can't forget for 3 Liberation. <laughs> Yeah, so we gotta take out Griffin. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't use the needle gun in air, like, in, like, in regular, like, now. You can only use it underwater. Why, I don't know. In terms of this encounter, I have no fucking clue what to do. I'm just doing the same exact thing I did last time. You know, grenade launcher when I can. Um, if I can get close to him, get close to him. Just, in all honesty, I have no fucking clue what I'm trying to do here. I don't know if... I, I feel like it's the same exact thing as last time. Uh, in all honesty, I think Griffin is easier out of all of the other, out of all the other bosses. Because Nightmare has his own problems. I'll get into that later. Phantom is just a... Uh, I don't know. I think it's just because of Griffin's reliance on projectiles that you could avoid them a lot easier than... than Phantom's and stuff. And Nightmare... Nightmare just has a few things about it that I'm just not a big fan of. 
but luckily, since this is easy mode, it's a lot easier to deal with him. And he looks significantly different than he does in DMC5, just saying. And that's the end of the mission! <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm allergic to C ranks. Wow, we only have three secret missions? Well, we're about to get the fourth uh, later in this part. Well, yeah, a lot of the secret missions don't really kick in until the end of the game, I guess, so I guess that makes sense. That I just fucking miss them until the end of the game. Mission 13, Abyss. Find an ex exit and escape from the ship. All right, so this one, this is a secret mission right here. You have to interact with the captain's body, but you have to wait until th after this mission goes through um, in the intermission between, um, in the intermission between, uh, what you would call it, this mission and the next mission. Uh, so don't worry about this. Um, you have to wait until after you're under this area is underwater, which is actually going to be in a little bit. So yeah, this is actually me being utterly confused about it too, but it's because I read the guide wrong. But you do need to take this. Actually, yeah, we have to still wait for the intermission between the mission. Okay. Good job, Dante. So now we get to see how built different Dante really is. If he was on the Titanic, he would have just swam to shore. Alright. Oh, God. Also, it's like, I don't think you, you can't use... Okay, you can't use the needle gun while moving, but it's very awkward. There's no aiming reticle, so it's really awkward to use. If there was, I wouldn't bitch so much if there was a reticle, okay? That's really the only problem I have with the needle gun. Other than that, it's perfectly fine as is. Just, if there was a reticle, would have been great. And I think it has a certain range when it's effective, like now. But again, a reticle would have been nice. I mean, then again, there's not really an aiming reticle for... I mean... You are locked on when you shoot in this game. Like, you do have to um, press the R1 button before you shoot. Unless you're in easy mode, then you can just shoot by mashing the square button all you want. Alright, there's a blue orb right there. Or a blue orb fragment, you know what I mean. Yay, we got, an, we got more health. I am surprised you get style rankings for this. Like, in all honesty, I'm just surprised, because you're really just mashing the square button. Actually, I don't really know what, um, style, how style ranking is, like, whatchamacallit, cat like, analyzed. You know what? That's actually a good thing to look up and that way we can talk about it because maybe someone in the DMC community has figured that out. I am actually going to apologize ahead of time for my keyboard. Uh, I got a new key gaming keyboard recently and I actually um, and it's very clicky. So I'm going to apologize for that now. Okay. I don't care about DMC ones. Uh, 
Okay, well, first off, I actually finally know what the Devil May Cry 2 rankings are. It's D for Don't Worry, C for Come On, B for Bingo, A for Are You Ready, and S for Showtime. I have never seen any of that, because DMC 2's style ranking system is bullshit. Wait, what? In this game, in Devil May Cry 1, the ranking of the of A depends on the region. It's awesome in the NTSC regions and absolute in the PAL regions. So why is it absolute on the HD collection? I guess it I guess it does I guess the HD collection does pulls a Metroid Prime trilogy and bases itself off the PAL versions. So um let's see. Okay. So So this is for the f ending of the missions. So this is a Reddit post, um, and the users is was deleted, so it's on our Devil May Cry on Reddit on the Devil May Cry Reddit page. So, DMC ones is um, um, rankings for the end of the missions. I don't know about it doesn't say anything about combat, which is weird. The following this is the criteria that affects the ranking. It's time, red orbs, damage, items used, and secret missions completed. Uh, okay, here's a secret mission I mentioned anyway. This is pretty easy. You just got to defeat all the enemies. There's no time limit, nothing like that. So, yeah. Um, so, each mission has a time requirement. So, you get 500 if you're under the time requirement. Uh, but depending on how much you're over, you get still you still get points. You get zero points if you're over by five minutes. 100 for if you're over but two minutes, but less than five 200 for being over 30 seconds, but less than 2 minutes, and 300 for being um, less than 30 seconds. Or over, but less than 30 seconds. Like, you're 20 seconds over. Uh, red orbs is just how many you uh, get. So if you get, like, 100% of the red orbs, you get 500 points and stuff like that. Um, damage, if you sustain any damage, you lo it lowers your ranking. So depending on how much damage you take in missions... Uh, don't. So basically, don't suck. Um, and item usage um, varies. So you, you're you minus 100 if you use a Devil Star or Holy Water. Uh, 300 if you use a Vital Star or Yellow Orb. And minus 500 if you use an Untouchable. So that explains my ranking for the final boss. Uh, but this also depends on like what difficulty you're playing on. Um, for example, like um, Normal and Hard has a different um where like s rank is a thousand or more a rank is 800 um stuff like that while on dante must die it's 700 or more so wait so it's easier huh. okay so what about combat that's what i need Okay, how about, let me just say combat style ranking system. Again, apologize for the keyboard. I don't like it either, but... That's DMC, Devil May Cry. I don't want DMC. Let me just try, let me try saying Devil May Cry 1. Probably shouldn't have typed DMC 1. Maybe that's not what I want. That's not what I mean. DMC... Okay, it doesn't say what, like, factors into it.
Wait, really? I didn't notice that. Apparently in DMC Devil May Cry, the stylish system also increases Dante's speed. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's new. I never heard about that. I've never I never noticed that. I played DMC a lot, and I never noticed that. Anyway. So, really, it just says, um, this is according to the Devil May Cry wiki, uh, operating on a letter grade system which increases as the player uses a continuous stream of varying or difficult techniques as well as parrying enemies' attacks as their own. Each attack adds a certain amount of points to boost the style gauge. Um, performing the same moves repeatedly will see diminishing returns on the boost, all but requiring variation of attacks and weapons. Yeah, it doesn't really say... Oh, okay. Oh, here it is. In the original Double May Cry, the stylish rank completely resets if it's not maintained, and time un and the time until it is lost is the shortest in the series, 1.5 seconds. Nope, DMC2 does that. Um, to the point to that it is possible to completely lose style rating by missing a single hit. It is often necessary to use firearms to maintain it while moving between enemies or take advantage of the lack of knockback stinger. Knockback stinger has to move quickly to a new target. Charging blows with Ifrit will cause will pause the decay of the style rank. Knocking an enemy into the air and juggling it with ebony and ivory will cons constantly increase the style rank up to S without any further combo variation. Unlike the other games, taking hits has no effect on the style ranking at all. Actually, in DMC Devil May Cry, I've ever noticed. And oh, boy, never mind. And DM, well, like. Oh yeah, and D oh, so the dynamic music system was in DMC Devil May Cry. I always thought it wasn't because I do remember. Because I do remember, you know, like, there is different music in DMC for the battle theme. But, like, it was just, you know, it played different. At, it just played randomly. Anyway. Well, how... What, what did I miss? What was I not paying attention to? So we got out of the ship. We did that secret mission. I think I'm trying to get another... I think I'm getting a gold orb here. Which, I don't know why, but... Because I honestly don't need it considering how, how, how great I am at this game. I mean, look at me. I am, like flying through this fucking game. What are you talking about? Easy mode. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Dude, I did so- I got an A- I got A ranks in Sonic Adventure 2, didn't I? Why the fuck am I sucking at platforming right now? <laughs> like oh my god it's just um i think this is the last thing we do in this part because uh this i it, did the mission start yet i don't remember or is this the intermission between the mission and the actual oh my god dude come on it's that blue okay good it's that blue orb all over don't oh my god he did not i did not just do that i mean it worked but i could have made it with a double jump probably I don't know. That was a waste. I mean, double trigger is not really hard to get. You just have to attack enemies constantly, but Jesus Christ, dude, come on. Yep, there's something in the waterfall. Always something in the waterfall. And then when there's not, you get pissed anyway. You know, I never question how Dante holds the... He holds the, um, grenade launcher with one fucking hand. That's an accomplishment. That's pretty cool to me. I mean, that's a grenade launcher. Like, I know, like, he when he uses it, he, he puts both hands on it. But, like, 
you know, when he's, like, just running around, he is still holding a grenade launcher, and I don't, I'm no, like, expert gun guy, I don't know much about guns, but grenade launchers are pretty heavy. I mean, I know he is, like, a superhuman demon and all that kind of shit, so it would make, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but still, it just kind of makes me question how, <laughs> he is really built different. He is not built similarly at all. All right. There's a blue orb in here, I believe. Or uh, the path to one. There's a green orb there if you need it, if you lost any health. I kind of really do hate the fact that green orbs give you... Uh, I mean... I hate green orbs. How dare they give me health when I need it. I hate the fact that green orbs give you... um red orbs no matter what and there's no like reserve thing or whatever like in like I, I think I mentioned this back in a previous part where like similar to Super Metroid or whatever you know they had reserve tanks and if you took if you lost all your health you would recharge a certain amount um, because of the reserve tanks I kind of wish more games did that you know especially if it's really helpful for like a first playthrough and a really good chance to you know give your give yourself some space but, you know, not every game has to do what Metroid does. Alright, so that's that blue orb fragment I was talking about. Continuing on! Yep, gotta pay the toll. Oh, I was wondering why I was standing there, but the door was opening. I was about to say, it's like, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Huh. You know, like, DMC2 is like, it. you don't even get a second to raise up your style ranking. And it confuses the hell out of me. I don't know if they fixed it for later versions, but I'm sure they didn't. I mean, then again, DMC2 is also known as Ebony and Ivory, the game. Don't believe me? Look up some footage of DMC2 gameplay, and you'll see what I mean. Like, I've seen so much gameplay footage of someone just standing there and spamming Ebony and Ivory on, like, big enemies, and it's killing them, and it kills them instant, like, really quickly. Because Ebony and Ivory has so much stun duration that you could just get away with mashing the square button for so long and just and inst and instantly it's the I win button, unfortunately. I'm i I've done it a few I did it a few times when I when I attempted to play DMC two. I think I did it to a boss. Like it is utterly ridiculous how broken Ebony and Ivory is in that game. And I will try not to use it for DMC two, but uh not keeping any promises on that one, especially if I want to get the fuck out of DMC2 as soon as possible. And I plus I heard you actually probably have to put an effort for Lucia. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't think I never did Lucia's campaign because I don't give a fuck enough. <laughs> In fact, I think Capcom wants to forget about DMC2 too because um uh, in the, in every, like, history of DMC video, DMC2 is always just skimmed over and forgotten about, and I love that. But, uh, I think that's enough ripping on DMC2, at least for this part. <laughs> um, so the next time we meet in Devil May Cry, we'll be continuing on to the next mission. I think we're actually about to in encounter our next, um, another Griffin fight, and yeah. So see you guys next time for more Devil May Cry, and take care.